Geometry is not just points, lines, and planes like I learned in school. It's about the push-pull relationship of energetic systems, like the pull between the Earth and the Sun, gravity, and the push out from the Sun, radiation. Pushing and pulling are essentially geometric phenomena and lines and planes are just our conceptual representations of those dynamics. It's the predictability of this push and pull dynamic that allows the inventors to create replicable technologies. The geometry is all based on energy moving and the shape of that movement is the torus. All of the projects reporting the best results were toroidal in design. This is because the torus is the basic pattern that energy takes throughout the entire cosmos. The torus looks like a donut. The energy flows in through one end, circulates around the center, and exits out the other end. Like a whirlpool in a stream, it's made from a medium in which it exists and is at the same time discrete within it. It's both distinct and unified and demonstrates why something could appear separate from something else and from the field while still being connected to it. It's self-sustaining at every scale. Picture the eye of a hurricane. At the center of every torus is a point of stillness. The field is basically a sea of toruses each one touching its 12 identical neighbors, like a stack of oranges. Connecting the center or still point of each torus with its nearest neighbors reveals equal non-physical lines of force or vectors. It's what visionary inventor and futurist Buckminster Fuller called the vector equilibrium. When this balanced state of equilibrium is extended without boundaries, it reveals that infinite fabric of space-time that Fuller called the IVM, or the isotropic vector matrix. It just means the same in all directions. This is the web of life force that the inventors say is the source of the energy that they're tapping. Life as we know it arises through contraction and expansion, pulling and pushing. It finds stability in symmetries, sixfold, fivefold, fourfold, threefold. This pulsation of energy is what Bucky Fuller called the jitterbug, the dance of the cosmos. Fuller humbly noted on his poster that this dynamic may come to be identified as the unified field. So what is the unified field unifying? This is what Einstein was seeking until the day he died. He was looking for the unifying insight that reconciles the four supposedly separate forces in the universe. Electromagnetism, the strong and weak nuclear forces, and gravity. According to emerging unified field theory, the dynamic of the torus provides this reconciliation. Electricity and magnetism used to be seen as separate forces, and we now know they're part of one dynamic called electromagnetism. Understanding this unification was what enabled Michael Faraday to invent the electric motor. What if gravity and the strong and weak forces are not separate, but are also part of the toroidal dynamic? What new technologies can emerge from that understanding? Nassim Haramein has postulated that gravity 
and the strong and weak nuclear forces are dynamics of how energy moves in the toroidal flow. In this light, gravity is a function of a whole field of infinitesimal spinning toruses being drawn towards larger concentrations of toruses that make up larger masses as the moon is pulled to the earth and the earth is drawn to the sun. Paramin suggests protons are really mini black holes whose spin creates attraction between them despite the repulsion we would expect from their positive charge. This attraction is what is referred to as the strong force. From this perspective, what's referred to as the weak force is the result of the natural fluctuations of the nucleus, emanating waves into the field. Unifying the four forces reminds me of the fabled blind men holding onto different parts of the elephant and describing it as a rope or a tree, or a snake. The elephant in this case is the toroidal energy dynamic of the unified field. Using the smallest measure, a single wave of light he calls the Planck spherical uses, and postulating that its form is toroidal, Paramin predicted that this dynamic is operating at every scale. By applying this hypothesis, he was able to determine the mass of all the elements and predicted the radius of protons and electrons, while also showing this understanding of the spin of the unified field as the source of mass, gravity, charge, and many physical constants. All of this with unprecedented accuracy. Why does the proton matter? The proton is matter. Everything we see in our reality is what we call matter. If we understand the proton, then most likely that understanding will be correct at larger scale, and that's what we're finding. So it really tells us about our reality and how it got here and how it works. Paramin developed a new scaling law showing the toroidal shape of systems throughout the universe. His work correlates with the notion of a grand, nested hierarchy. There is one pattern at all scales, from Planck spherical units, within protons, within atoms, to molecules, within cells, organisms within planets solar systems within galaxies within a vast field of galactic clusters When Italian astronomers were searching to see if there was a predictable pattern to how galaxies cluster, they found what they call the egg carton universe. This pattern is identical to what we are discovering at all scales as the fabric of space-time. 